So I wanted to make a video for people that may not have ever experienced a Master Rank or G Rank expansion with the possibility that Rise was their first entry in the series. Maybe you burst through Rise with Defender gear and you might not know the best way to approach the start of a Monster Hunter expansion. So here's five tips for when you start Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Now, this may sound bad from the title, but I promise you, you're not going to regret it. We all love crafting new gear in Monster Hunter, but nothing is more annoying when you get to make a new weapon or piece of armor, and you can't because you still need small monster materials. You went through and grinded out the big bad boys, but no, you still need those itty bitty baby crab shells. I'm telling you, when you see small monsters, especially in the beginning of the game, it needs to be on site. You'll get a nice passive pile of small monster materials built up, then you'll be able to more smoothly breeze through crafting and upgrading gear. Whether you're out on an expedition or actually fighting a monster, be sure to take the small monsters down. And don't forget to carve. Small monster bodies can disappear pretty quickly. Now, this one stems from what a lot of people tend to do with games. They burn through the entirety of the game as fast as possible, and then get mad when they have nothing left to do. Monster Hunter is no different. We have a lot of silk binds and switch skills to play with, so why not grind out the early Master Rank monsters to rack up some solid weaponry for the weapons you like to play? You don't want to blast ahead, go to switch to another weapon, and have no Master Rank weapon available for it. Daimyo is a new returning monster, so there's even more incentive to grind that one out. Great Izuchi is also available from the rip, so you can make some pretty solid weapons like the Hunting Horn or maybe even the Light Bow Gun for some pretty solid early Master Rank weapons that can last you a bit longer. Take your time, practice the new skills, get some good weapons, and get accustomed to Master Rank and profit. This tip is very similar to the small monster tip. There are plenty of weapons, especially early ones that are going to require master rank ore or bones to craft. Daimyo right off the bat requires you to have bones you can get from the jungle, so you're going to want to make a pit stop every mine and bone pile you happen to go by. If you passively do this while you're on the earlier missions or grinding out monsters, you'll have a sizable stockpile to where you won't have to worry about your progress being stopped and upgrading because you don't have that ore or bone that you need. Hell, a good way of doing it is just going on an expedition and getting both the small monsters and gathering materials in one go. You could even go exploring in the new jungle and just grab things as you go. Now, gathering materials, like I said, is important, but you also get the added benefit of building up your stockpile of materials that will likely be used to make a Kimura, bone, or ore weapon. Now, I know that these weapons will get looked at with the side eye because they're starter weapons, but chances are these rarity 8 weapons are going to be better than your rarity 6 or 7 weapons that you're using outright. These weapons honestly can take you a decent ways if you don't really feel like grinding out the early master rank monsters, or if you'd rather use those monster materials for armor. One of the super underrated added benefits of using these weapons, they're a lot cheaper to craft as well, and let me tell you, you are going to run out of money quick. They give you eggs to sell, but I can promise you, it's not gonna last. So pinch your pennies at every chance you get, or start doing some of Gaijin's mining runs. If you're looking for a go-to solid armor set in pretty much any Monster Hunter game it's available in, Velocipre armor will be good enough to get you through a majority of the content while boasting a very minimal amount of work required to craft it. Hell, in Sunbreak you don't even have to take down a Velocidrome, just the little Velocipre. It's known to have solid amounts of attack boost and it doesn't stop there in Sunbreak. You get a whopping 5 levels of attack boost, stun negation out of the gate, and something that could be easily overlooked, Capture Master. Capture Master is going to give you a high chance for even more increased rewards when you capture a monster. Let's be real, we are starving for materials at the beginning of Master Rank, so this is absolutely welcome. Oh, did you think that was it? Every piece of Velocipre armor has at least a level 3 deco slot, with 3 of the pieces sporting a level 4 deco slot and then some. 
Yeah, I think I know what armor I'm gonna be rocking in early master rank. I know I said there would be five, but this is a little bit of a bonus and it's very important. The transition from low rank to high rank, high rank to master rank is always a bit of a rough start. Yes, it may just be an Arzuros or Azuchi or Ludroth or Daimyo, but you have to remember that you're likely taking these monsters on with high rank gear. They already hit hard enough, but they're going to hit even harder while you're bridging the gap between ranks. Thanks. You also most likely don't have master rank weapons or weapons that scale to the fight that you're in. Toss in the fact that we have new silk binds and switch skills to get comfortable with, and it all adds up to a beautiful disaster sometimes. Don't get too frustrated if your hunts take a little longer, or if you end up taking a ride on the cart. This is the cycle of punishment we love as Monster Hunter fans, and if you haven't learned to love it yet, I promise you will in time. But that's gonna be it for this one. Sunbreak is a fresh expansion, so that means that the transition could be a little rough at times. But if you take these steps, you'll better position yourself for a smoother experience. If you're looking for more tips or other people to hunt with, feel free to jump into the Discord. Link in the description for that. Subscribe for so much more Sunbreak and Monster Hunter content. Have a good day, happy hunting, and I will see you guys in the next video.